Georgia is um, a young democracy, a developing democracy. We have made a lot of effort to build open and democratic society, but a lot of things still have to be done. And unfortunately, this process is reversible. And unfortunately, there are political forces both in and outside Georgia who want to reverse it. Uh, we will need a lot of help from our Euro-Atlantic friends uh, to develop into a Western-style successful democratic society. Uh, there are a lot of things we have to learn from them. And that's why I think strong transatlantic relationship uh, on all levels, on the governmental, government level and between NGOs, um, is necessary for the future security and stability of Georgia. South Caucasus is a very diverse region and unfortunately it has been turbulent in the last 10-15 years. The biggest challenges for the Euro-Atlantic um, region in South Caucasus I think are so-called frozen conflicts in Abkhazia, South Ossetia, Nagorno-Karabakh. If we want South Caucasus to be a stable and prosperous member of Euro-Atlantic society, we have to address these problems and the sooner we address these problems the better. Although not a NATO member, Georgia has been cooperating with NATO intensively. Our troops contribute to the NATO effort in Iraq and Afghanistan, um, sometimes even more than some uh, NATO member countries. Uh, NATO membership has never really been about military strength. Uh, some states, uh, such as Ireland and uh, Liechtenstein, do not really have strong armed forces, but they are full members of alliance, nevertheless. I think in due time we can offer a lot to NATO and I, I do hope our cooperation grows stronger.